Right, uh, we have uh, this uh, particular word problem here that we shall proceed to solve step by step. And we proceed to solve this word problem in a step by step fashion. Right, and now we proceed to read the word problem. The difference between the ages of Penelope and her son, Zach, is uh, 34. In six years, Penelope will be four times as old as Zach's age two years ago. How old are they now? Okay, we proceed to solve this problem and we present a solution to this problem as follows. First things first, we let. Right, so we let X be equal to Penelope's. Right. Penelope's current age. Why is Zach Zach's current age? Right. Now we're finding the difference between the ages because we understand that Penelope is uh, is uh, is the mother is the mother to Zach. Now, because Penelope is the mother to Zach, it means that Penelope's age is greater. We take the biggest age and we subtract the smallest one of the sun, and uh, the difference is uh, 34, like so. Next, because they said the difference between the ages of Penelope and her son, Zach, is 34 in six years. Penelope will be four times as old as Zach's age two years ago. Right, so now we understand that in six years, so we take Penelope's age and we add six years, and this will be four times Zach's age two years ago. So this is minus two. From the first equation, okay, let's just manipulate this here. So this is x plus 6, which is equal to 4y minus 8. So this is going to be 4 times y, which is 4y minus 8. The first equation is going to be x equals. Okay, let's first simplify this here. Right, so simplifying this, it gives us x equals... Uh, 4y minus, bringing the 8 across, it's going to give us minus 14. Simultaneously, this is true with the, the difference. x minus y, which is 34, and uh, transposing the y to the other side gives us 34. So we have the first equation, and this becomes the second equation. Okay, these are the two equations, and if these are the two equations, we proceed to solve this in a step-by-step -step fashion. So what we note is we have equation one equals the second equation. Right, so if we actually have that, in other words, we can use the word put. Right. And you can use the word substitute. You can say put one into two. Let's use that. Put, put one into two. And if you put one into two in the place of two, we shall put 4y minus 14. And this is 4y minus 14, which is uh, y plus 34, which is 4y minus 14, which is equal to y plus 34. 
which is 4y minus y, which is exactly 3y, which equals 48. Which means 3y equals 48. You divide the left by 3, and you also simultaneously divide the right by 3. Meaning we shall have 3y over 3, and this equals 48 over 3. which means y is equal to 16. If y is equal to 16, then we shall have x, which is, uh, in other words, you can use uh, some, you can reference this and say using, for example, you write using equation one, Right, and equation one is x equals uh, y plus 34. And this is 16 plus 34. And 16 plus 34 equals uh, 50. Now, Zax can use uh, the word hands. Right, we use the word hands. Hands, uh, Zax, current age is, uh, now remember that Zach's age is a uh, Y. So Zach's current, current age is Y equals uh, 16. And uh, Penelope's current age right and Penelope right so Penelope's current age is uh, X equals 50. Right, and uh, now we have solved this problem. Let's do a quick check. If you understand, therefore, that this is the solution, but let's do a quick check. We're going to find the difference between the two ages. And we have seen that x is 50 and uh, y is 16. And the difference is 34. And uh, then we proceed to check with the other equation. So that we said uh, in six years, uh, this will be four times uh, Zex age uh, two years ago. Right, meaning that we agree that for this is our X and our Y is 16 as we've got that. And here we have 50 for x plus 60, which is 4 into the y is 16 minus 2, which is 56, which is 4 into 14. And uh, what is 4 times 14? 4 times 14 is 56, meaning this confirms the fact that Penelope's age is indeed 50, but also Zach's current age is. Uh, is uh, 16, 1, 6, and we have solved this problem step by step, and uh, we are through with the solution. Thanks everybody for joining us, and goodbye to you. Goodbye.